how much, well, you may not want to disclose your dollar amounts and all that, but what is the highest cost for a disc golf course that you've ever put in? And I'm talking like, just the whole package deal, the turnkey. Mm -hmm. You got the request and it is done and here's what the, the total amount was. Well, um, I, I'll, I'll tell you that that's easy and it, the total budget is not a reflection on what we got paid for that <laughs> project. Um, and it's, all, it's also public knowledge, it's out there on the, on the internet. Um, Parc de Fami, uh, which is just south of New Orleans in Jefferson Parish, um, the budget on that one was north of $600,000. And a lot of that uh, went to work that they had to do on the property to make sure that it drained properly, mm -hmm. right? Because there, it's the, the course, there's a canal that goes through there, and the course is just about the same level as the canal. Um, that course is just about as flat as Nantucket is. So for them to be able to find ways that that course would not hold water every time it rained, um, that was a big deal. So a, a lot of that went to engineering. Um, now, that being said, they also did a great job clearing it. There was a lot of clearing involved, but it, it's another example of how <clears throat> disc golf can fit into an area that's not really appropriate for anything else. I mean, you wouldn't put soccer fields there or, or ball fields or some other thing. Um, and it, you know, it was a lot of money, but they, they wound up with um, a beautiful course by the way. And a part of it also was uh, one of the, the uh, drainage issues was every fairway, they put six to eight inches of sand. I mean, coast to coast, 20 foot wide fairways, 50 foot wide fairways. It's all six to eight inches above everything that's around it. And then once they were done, uh, they put grass seed in. And man, when it when that seed uh, first came up and everything was brand new, I have never seen a disc golf course that looked more like a ball golf course than that was wow. Ab wow. absolutely beautiful. That's pretty awesome. So, yep, yeah, next that, time. That's really anybody, cool to think of. Where does, yeah. in, that, in that situation, this is a course design question, in that mm -hmm. situation, where does the majority of the budget go to? And that one, it sounds like the landscaping, but maybe you can just speak in a general sense. If you're going to design a course, I know they're all different, but if you're going to design a course, where does the majority of a budget go to? Um, depends on the property. If it's wooded, most of the budget's going to go to clearing. Um, you know, the, the type of fairways that I would consider world-class are wider than uh, most courses you're going to see in the woods. They're going to have more options than what you see in the woods, um, and that all is a that all is a lot of work. Um, but every project, you know, depends on what kind of resources are available, as well as um, what they're looking to do. You know, if it's a parks department and they have you know their own crews in house, and so that's not as much of a big ticket item at a private facility where they're having to bring in a contractor or that kind of thing. Um, it all just depends. But if it's a wooded course, um, you know, I, I would say clearing is, is almost always the number one budget item. Well, because you know what, yeah, you know sense. what baskets are going to cost. <laughs> so, yeah. right. Okay. 